and we are back. Welcome back to the Copper America Predictions series. It feels good to be back on predictions again after taking a day off with no Euros and no Copper America. Can you believe it? But it is time to start our quarterfinal predictions. This will be my prediction for tonight's one and only Copper America quarterfinal game. Of course, we will then be going back tomorrow morning for the first two Euro quarterfinal predictions video. So if you haven't done so already, please make sure you're subscribed to this channel so you don't miss out on those predictions coming up for you over the next few days. We've got three more days of predictions for you across all of the quarterfinals in both Europe and in the United States. And look, I'm not going to apologise for getting that Costa Rica-Paraguay prediction wrong because I warned you about it. It was an absolute chaos prediction to go for. Who knew what was going to happen in that? one and what made it even more frustrating is Costa Rica only had two shots in that game they scored them both and they won 2-1 so fair play to Costa Rica for that as for the brazil Colombia game I will take your thanks for getting that one absolutely spot on with a 1-1 draw and if that's not worth a like on this video I don't know what is getting a prediction that difficult of a game to call getting that one spot on I'm very proud of and brings my actual total of correct scores in the Copper America to six so I will take that as an overall performance but without any further ado it's time to talk about that first quarter final taking place tonight and it is of course Argentina taking on Ecuador and I'm just going to get straight into the prediction because when I looked at this fixture obviously you know what I do I look at the form guide between the sides and I go right based on what I've seen so far in this tournament Argentina have won every single game and they've not conceded a single goal Ecuador were unlucky against Venezuela going down to 10 men so early then were brilliant against Jamaica albeit a little bit sloppy at the back and then they were brilliant in their defensive outlay against Mexico, able to get that 0-0 draw, which secured them their place in this round. Therefore, the logical solution for my prediction for this game would be to go for a 1-0 win to Argentina. Then I looked at the head-to-head -head record, which I always do when I go into these fixtures. I see how recently these sides have played each other whenever I do a prediction and try and make an additional judgment based on that. These two sides played in a pre-tournament friendly. That game finished 1-0 to Argentina. These sides also met at the back end of last year in a World Cup qualifier. That game ended 1-0 to Argentina. So I was already going to go for 1-0 to Argentina. The head-to-head -head record between these sides showed that in both of those fixtures it was 1-0 to Argentina. So I'm going to go for 2-0 to Argentina. Because of two reasons. Firstly... This is knockout football. It's a different level of pressure to a friendly and a World Cup qualifier. Secondly, Lionel Messi wasn't playing in that pre-tournament game. And he has been playing very well in this tournament so far. And I'm even going to chuck in a third reason as well. And that is that Mexico should have beaten Ecuador. They should have done. You actually look at the highlights from that match. Ecuador gave away three or four clear-cut chances in that match. And Mexico should have taken at least one of them. They didn't. This Argentinian strike force will take chances if the Ecuador side gives them up. And I think they're going to have a little bit too much for them. I can actually see this ending up being more. I was very, very tempted to actually go for 3-0. But the way Argentina have approached this tournament so far, they've not been that gung-ho that they're going to absolutely overwhelm and overload and try and go for 3 4 5 They've been conservative, they've picked their moments, and they've struck well when they've needed to. So I think 2-0 is just about right. But like I say, it could definitely end up being more. I would be surprised to see Ecuador get a goal in this game. I just think defensively, Argentina are so, so good at the moment. And even though Ecuador have scored goals, obviously they scored with 10 men, then put three past Jamaica. They didn't really look too threatening in the highlights that I saw against Mexico, barring a couple of long shots. So... I think Argentina will restrict them. I think they're going to dominate. I think they're going to get the win. And I think it's going to be a 2-0 victory. But as always, let me know your thoughts down in the comments section below. Who is going to be making it through to those semi-finals? We've got another prediction coming for you tomorrow for the one game. And then obviously the two final games will be available for you on Saturday afternoon. But that is going to do it for today's video. Thank you very much for watching as always. Don't forget to check out my Euro predictions coming for you tomorrow morning at 9am. Thank you very much for watching once again. I'll see you very soon.